Today is Wellness Wednesday, so I dug into my vault to find a woman that I think has been forgotten in history, so much so that uh, the distinction of becoming the first black woman to earn an MD was formally credited to a woman named Rebecca Cole. When in actuality, the first woman to earn a medical degree in this country, her name is Rebecca Lee Crumpler. Rebecca Lee Crumpler, born Rebecca Davis, February 8th, 1831. Now, as I was looking for information about her, I couldn't find a whole lot, which is why it is so important that we put together the tapestry that's our history. We got to put the pieces together because they purposefully broke it up. They don't want us to know. Uh, and when I say they, I just mean the system. Rebecca Lee Crumpler, I was thinking about um, as I was going down my rabbit hole, I was like, what was going on in 1831? Think about 1831 in America. 1831 in America, she was born in Delaware. People were in bondage for another 34 years in this country. Four million Americans were in bondage under brutal conditions. This woman was born into 1831 in Delaware. Um, she was inspired by an aunt in Pennsylvania who she was raised by. So now I have questions about her parents. We know nothing about them, right? She spent most of her time with her aunt and her aunt was the caretaker of the neighborhood. She was the woman that went around and helped people who were sick. We all have those folk in our families. We all have those people in our communities. You know who they are. Some of them are practicing nurses and doctors. Some of them are just folk that know, take this tea, drink this, boil this onion, put this on your foot and you feel better. You know, well, Rebecca Lee Crumpler's aunt was one of those people. Uh, by 1852, she moved to Charleston, Massachusetts, where she worked as a nurse for eight years. So she was 21 years old. For eight years, she worked as a nurse. Why? Because she couldn't go to medical school in this country as not just a woman, but of course, as a black person. She was just black. That was enough for her not to be able to get a medical degree. Uh, but she went, went to Massachusetts because that was where the first formal school of nursing opened. But that didn't happen until 1873. So she had to do this informally as a nurse, went to school, learned, learned things. And in 1860, she was admitted to the New England Female Medical College, where she graduated in 1864. And she became the first African-American woman in the United States to earn an MD and the only African-American woman to graduate from the New England Female Medical College, which closed in 1873. So I just want to put perspective on it. But as I was going down my rabbit hole of figuring it out, you know, who is this woman? When she moved to Massachusetts in 1852, just to put perspective, in Boston, a woman was arrested in 1852 for wearing pants. Think about that. A woman was arrested, a white woman, for wearing pants in 1852 when Rebecca Lee Crumpler moved to, to Massachusetts to become uh, what ostensibly first a nurse and then a doctor. That same year, July 5th, Frederick Douglass delivered what to the slave is the 4th of July in Rochester. So there were some things happening in 1852 in this country where there was movement and then quietly this woman just did her thing. I actually downloaded a, her book, her only book that I was able to find. It was called A Book of Medical Discourses, where Rebecca Lee Crumpler uh, tells people everything from how to you know, wash themselves to women, how, you know, when you're giving birth, this is how you nurse. I mean, it is so instructive. This book was um, published in the 1860s, and I actually downloaded it because I wanted to read it before I came in, but I, it is so well done <laughs> that, you know, while some of the, you know, it's very sexist, but that was the country that we, we lived in. Uh, but I also wanted to underscore the, the year that she was born, uh, 1831, was the same year that Nat Turner led a rebellion. So in the wake of this country's uh, vast history of racism and sexism, this woman somehow was able to emerge as amazing. Uh, and, and I want to celebrate her, but the story's untold. And there's more to it. And I think it requires all of us to kind of dig in and find our little pieces. If you're from Charleston, Massachusetts, maybe you know something. If you're from Delaware, I'm not even sure where exactly in Delaware she was born. Is there some history there? It is up to us to put the story back together. And I'm so grateful that we have this opportunity to at least, you know, say her name, because I think it's important that we say her name, Dr. Rebecca Lee Crumpler, first black woman to earn a medical degree. And every day, Beyond, I think I'm going to keep doing this on the Karen Hunter Show. We're going to be celebrating some folk.